Go for it. Okay, we're streaming now. Hi, everyone. This is uh, Davey McNally, uh, chair of the Athens City Commission on Disabilities. Uh, thank you, Scott. Uh, and sorry, I'm a little bit late, everyone. I uh, went to the dog park with the dog that's behind me on the screen right here, and uh, she would she did not want to leave. And I had the whole dog park chasing her. Special thanks to uh, Dolly, the dog's uh, parent, who who really stuck in there for 15 minutes with me. So, so thank you very much. I think she's a senior at OU, and she was the quickest person. Um, we have a dog that loves cold weather. What's wrong with that dog? I know. I, didn't, I was not into that. So thank you, everyone at the Westside Dog Park. Uh, we'll go ahead and call our meeting to order at 5.03 on the 21st of April 21st, 2021. Thanks, everyone, for attending. And we will uh, start off by... Um, reading our mission statement. Do you, you want to have quorum first? We should establish. Oh, right. Let's go ahead and establish quorum. Thank you. Okay. This is Diane Bouvier, and I'm going to read the attendance. Um, Diane Bouvier, Rose Dikas, Claire Geisigam. Here. Samora Dower. Carolyn Lewis. Here. Sly Mata. Davey McNelly. Here. Carol Prusinski. Lisa Simpson. Lisa Simpson. Oh, Lisa. You just have to say yes. Okay, you did not say yes. Arian Smedley. J.W. Smith. Here. Noah Tremblay. Here. So we have seven and we meet quorum. Okay, sounds great. And uh, we had a couple of people let us know that they weren't able to make it to tonight's meeting. We also um, heard from Mayor Steve Patterson that he had double booked himself. He thought we still met at 530 and was hoping to join us then, but it would, yeah, at, at six o'clock and it did not work out. So uh, he will be joining us at the next meeting instead. So now we can move into doing the uh, mission statement for the Disability Commission. The Athens City Commission on Disabilities is a committee of city government whose commitment is to provide a means for the concerns of people with disabilities to be heard, to advocate for public policy change, to provide expertise to the community on disabilities and tell the community about the strengths and limitations of people with disabilities, as well as how the community can help them improve their quality of life. Thereby ensuring equality of opportunity and full participation in community life for everyone. All right. Thank you very much for reading that. Now everyone's uh, kind of taken a turn just to remind us of what our what our mission is. And Carolyn's spreading the wealth a little bit, right, Carolyn? Exactly. Uh, the next thing we have is approval of March minutes. Um, he says, out. Oh, does anyone have any corrections or things that we need to correct on those before we make a motion?" Well, I move that we accept the minutes. Okay. Second. Second from JW. Uh, motion by Carolyn. Uh, all in favor, if you could say aye and raise your hand. Aye. Okay, we have unanimous uh, consent for those minutes to be ratified. We will move right along to... Uh, and thanks again, Diane, for always putting together great minutes. It helps me stay on track with everything and everyone else. So really appreciate that. Um, the next thing we have on the agenda is the treasurer's report. Well, we still have the $1,800 for the Calling All Artists Award uh, design and $1,200 for the uh, Athens Award event in November. And uh, that's, that's it for, I'm sorry, $1,000. $1,200 for a total of $3,000. $3,000 total, nothing's changed. Our interpreter fees, where does that come from for Nico? 
Which, what is that? Our interpreter fees. Oh, that's not the mayor's budget, so okay. All right. All right. To, uh, not, we don't even have to okay. report that anymore. Okay, I guess I did. Yeah, great. All right. And then this is Davey, just to, um, yeah, <laughs> just to remind everyone to uh, yeah, if you say your yes, name, yes, 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 yes. yeah, so that we don't stress uh, Nico out too much. Uh, let's go ahead and move down into new business. Well, we need a motion. I would move. The, I would move the treasury report, JW. And I second it, Diane Bouvier. Yeah. Okay. All, all in favor? See, that's unanimous. Motion passes. All right, let's move on into new business. So we can just kind of table our updates from uh, Athens City Government with uh, Mayor Steve Patterson. Um, We'll, we'll kind of get to some of the new developments from our meeting last week with the mayor and some of the ideas that we have to to be able to meet regularly with city staff during the staff meetings. Uh, and we, we, we probably will, you know, kind of get through this agenda a little quicker than an hour, I would guess, since we have those 20 minutes clear. Um, and it, yeah, well, I guess we'll we'll get to that in in a moment in the executive team report where we can talk about what what some of our asks were. Um, so let's move into into the walk and roll audit. Um, yeah, I thought it was a really great event. Uh, one thing that we would like to do is make this a a regular annual. Event. Who who here was able to to watch it on uh, the city's streaming site? This is JW. I got to watch it. Very good job. Okay. Right. Yeah, I I had a great time. I thought it you know worked pretty well. What what did what did what did everyone else think who were able to see it? Thought you did a great job, a reporter on the street. <laughs> And Rob, but the same as usual. Um, I think we didn't have a great, great audience, but I think the awareness that we're doing this was out there. We had a lot of publicity, um, thanks to the communications committee and Claire and everyone, and of course, Diane's column. So I think that was out there. And then the product was really good. I think we need to, and I learned a lot, even about the little back doors that I didn't know that there were side doors to some of these um, Right. So that was good to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, go ahead, Diane. I, I thought also one of the, um, the people who tuned in at the end suggested that we put together something to pass out to businesses. And I thought that might be a good idea, something that would just be basic things that businesses can do that we can give to the Chamber of Commerce and say, please distribute this around town or somehow get other organizations doing some of the disseminating. Mm -hmm. um, but I did have a question, Carolyn. I couldn't tell how many people came. Could you tell? Um, I don't know if I took a count. I didn't take a count. I just sort of ran through once, but I, I can't tell you. Uh, maybe Scott or someone might know. So Scott said that he's put it on YouTube. So we actually have a permanent record of it out in the cloud. Um, right. so that might be something we can let other people know is there and the communication team might want to think about how we can use that. But we had people on Facebook, we had people on the government channel and we had people zooming in. So I don't know, Davey, do you know how many people came? I don't know. I heard you know, at various times on the main, like, Facebook Live, uh, we had maybe, like, you know, 15 people watching us at various times, but how many people then watched it later or uh, watched it on the public access station? Yeah, not really sure. And, uh, yeah, we had a lot of good questions and comments mm -hmm. during as well. Yeah, this is JW, I think, since... Uh they're going to share that link with us. Let, let's all spread that far and near so others can get ideas of the communities too. <clears throat> Great idea. 
Joe said, yeah, Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, this is Davey, uh, and we'll we'll get a little bit more into the, the walk and roll audit. And maybe uh, during that point, we can ask for some additional feedback on, you know, some some different things that you'd like to see in the future, um, and and that kind of thing. So, oh, I guess let's go ahead and move into into old business, which is. Oh, sorry, Jay, uh, sorry, David. JW here. I, I was just thinking ahead in the future. You're talking of, if we do this again next year, and I hope we do it. We're back to normal. It'd be nice to, after the event, um, have a public event somewhere. You know, whether it's a little reception or a little question and answer, uh, something that the community said. That'd be nice to follow it up with. That's a great idea. Yeah, this is Davey. That's a really great idea, JW. I think it was nice that we could post it online because then people during the pandemic could watch it. And I think even in the future, doing it this way really makes sense as well. But either having some people that that are coming along um, and doing the walk with us, and then and then holding a public a public event, maybe you know on the College Green or. Mm-hmm. Somewhere on city property is a great idea. Maybe doing it at a place that we have really ha- been happy with, either their improvements or their really like model for the kind of things we're trying to, you know, uh, to educate people about. But let's just let's just parlay it to the into the biggest event we can as we go forward in the years to come. Yeah, this is Carolyn. Maybe end at that place. That's what I'm saying. Yes, that's right. Yeah, oh, yeah that's good great. point. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that uh, acknowledgement for a, a business or, yeah, that would be wonderful, I think. It'd be mm-hmm. good for us and good for them. Yes. Yeah, uh, Cheryl just made a comment. Do you want to talk, tell us more about that idea, Cheryl? Okay, I'm not sure if the interpreter can see me. I can see you now. Like, maybe for example, Athens could have music. Maybe if there's like a music festival, something ha- like that happening, there are people already in town. And then maybe you could add on the walk and roll and make that a part of some, like a city festival where people are already there, they're already engaged. And then that was just, ma- that was just one thought I had and I wanted to throw out. Yeah, this is Davey. That's a great idea, Cheryl. I really like like that and thinking about how we can partner. Uh, sorry, go ahead, Claire. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is Claire. I just, um, I really, really like that idea, but I wanted to make sure, is this, is the walk and roll always in April? This is Davey. We're, we're thinking that it would be a spring event. But it doesn't have to be. What what kind of idea did you have? Well, I was just, I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to, ha- like, I love the idea of having it um, be a part of something bigger or to a, a, a fest, but I would hate for it to fall on a fest weekend right. um, because of the, uh, the craziness that could happen on Court Street. And I, I just would hate for it to walk and roll to turn into a pub crawl. So it's just, just something I wanted to put out there um, just to keep in mind. Um, because I think spring is spring is excellent. Um, but maybe um, late March, early April, we should we should uh, count those weekends out. Uh, this is David. That's a good idea. Yeah, we, we did it on a Thursday at noon. And there weren't any pub crawls going on then. <laughs> well, this is JW. I suspect nobody, nothing says we have to do just one. So let's keep our minds open, you know, uh, depending on the popularity and what we want to accomplish. Uh, we could do a couple a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is JV. And I- even like, you know, maybe doing a different air- area every year. I exactly. Think- Uptown has a lot of obvious issues because of 
um, the terrain and everything, but I could see after some of the major streetscaping projects that are going to be happening over the next couple of years, to then go back over part of that and say, you know, here's what your, you know, tax money, here's what the grants coming in are being spent on. Um, and yeah, just one, one thing that we talked about uh, with Steve last week was how, <laughs> Yeah, people people get like really upset about when major projects are happening, especially like the Simpson Avenue project and the communication around that. Um, but it's something that we in the Accessibility Committee have been working on for, for a couple of years now, just really like going block by block to try and make it the most accessible that it can be when it's done. And it it is not fun in the short term because everything's not very accessible but in the long term uh if things if things are done you know with some of our suggestions i think it's going to be so much better and uh something that i i'm really looking forward to yeah this is jane Durbin. I, know, I know we got to move on too but uh but i mean yeah i mean they're building up the columbus road area and if we keep doing it in the same place all the time we're sort of s sending the message that uh people who are differently able are sort of limited to this area. And that's not the message we want to send. This is Carolyn. We did get a, an email after the event. I don't think she got a chance to watch it, but we suggested that she go to the city site or the Facebook city site. And uh, she was bringing up some of the same issues we're addressing uh, uptown. And so we uh, David responded to her and I did too, that we suggested that, and she wanted to get involved. It seemed like that she, uh, I joined the accessibility committee. So I don't know if she's gotten back to you or not, Davey, but we suggest to citizens that's one way they can help us. Good idea. Yeah, uh, she has not as of yet, but I will make sure that she is added. And yeah, I think this is Davey. I think there's, you know, a way for us to really keep publicized. In fact, if someone wants to pop in the link for that uh, Facebook Live event into the chat right now, we could, um, yeah, that, that way people are watching online right now, they could look it up that way. So whoever finds it first, I guess. This is Lisa. What areas have you covered so far besides Uptown? Um, this is, this is Davey, we've, uh, so we probably, this is like our, probably like our sixth, fifth or sixth uh, walk and roll kind of event. Um, before the pandemic, we would just go as a group and walk around. Um, it's part of Rob Delac's ongoing uh, walk around Athens, um, you know, events that he does. So we started to roll it into a walk, walk and roll and focus more on accessibility. And the major um, places that we focus on are Stimson and then Uptown because there's two ma a major project coming up with, I, I guess when they did Union a couple years ago and then with State and Washington streets, those streetscapings. Um, but Union Further Out uh, is another one that's coming up. And we, we looked at State, but we didn't like go physically to State Street, like, you know, far out on East State Street when they did that a few years back. Okay, thank you. Sure. All right, let's, uh, any other questions or comments about the walk and roll event? Okay, hearing none, let's move into our executive report. And I believe that I had asked Diane to prepare, or Noah, Noah. Okay, go ahead, Noah. This is Noah. We met on March 26th. First, we finalized everything for the event we had on the 8th, which was a walk and roll. We also covered how to use the new city source app. We also reviewed the assignments and the members of our committees. 
Next, we talked about how the executive team hasn't met with Mayor Patterson since the pandemic hit. We were successful in getting a meeting with Steve last week. Lastly, we discussed guest speeches. What we've noticed is that works good and some adjustments that we need to ensure that we get the information that we want to hear instead of stuff that isn't real important to us. Carolyn will be coaching us on how to run a presentation smoother. Our next meeting is this Friday at 1. That is all I have for tonight. Thank you, Noah. Um, since Steve isn't here, another thing that we talked about is uh, being a part of the qu quarterly for the city staff meetings. Um, that would be, I think there's 12 people that come to the city staff meetings and really, you know, talking about what, what they're doing in terms of accessibility for the city. and. Uh, Steve has said that he's going to put together kind of what people's responsibilities are within his uh, staffing structure. And then we would be able to, to really, over time, ask for specific things to, um, to change or to, to just kind of have that as a focus in city staff's minds because you know, the accessibility committee might be able to meet with someone on staff, maybe like once every six months or once every eight months, but being in a room with everyone really shows that accessibility is a really important issue within the city and it keeps it on the forefront of people's minds. So that's kind of what we were thinking. Any, anything else that you had to add, Diane or Carolyn? I think one of the things I mentioned too is that we just wanted to make sure the staff thinks about accessibility when they get professional development training. So whatever their area is, they also think about including accessibility training. So if it's parks and rec, they think about what are the requirements or if it's the city engineer, they learn about what are the requirements. Um, so we, we thought that would be helpful just for them to have that in, his, in their minds. And that everything, this is Carolyn, that everything that they do, they're thinking about accessibility. And that it's just a thread running through their, their meetings and their thoughts when they're making decisions. Yeah, this is, this is Davey. I thought it was a really productive meeting. And uh, I guess we'll hear more, hear more about it at our next uh, full commission meeting. And... I think we might be joining the staff meeting before the next full commission meeting. So we'll have that to report on as well. This is JW, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think that's great. And I think one way for you guys to do it is to just say to them, you know, as you talk about diversity, just link them with issues of accessibility as well. Don't separate the two. Just drive that into their minds as well. Uh, but it strikes me just hearing Diane talk, now that she's retired, we really don't have a real good connection with OU's accessibility entity. We need to think about that uh, so that we can find ways to mutually work with them as well. Diane, this is Carol. Diane, who is that person now? You're on mute. Trying to, um, so Carrie Bush is the ADA coordinator now, and Christy Jenkins is the director for disability services. Which so one should you think one of them would serve in a similar role as you did before you became part of the commission to be a liaison? I don't, I would assume they would at some point. I know this past year was really hard, but Davey, you meet with Carrie, right? Uh, so that, yeah, that's, that's a good question to ask okay. her. Okay. Yeah, this is Davey, and I did ask that question. I think we met in November, if I remember right, and um, Carrie, Dr. Carrie Bush at that point said, 
that she didn't have the the staffing capabilities to to do it at that time because of the pandemic and rolling a bunch of positions together um, that used to be separate uh, positions. So um, I will definitely make that ask at our next quarterly meeting. Which yes, Mr. Chair, Mr. JW, we, we need to hear from them, uh, I think at least a couple times a year. So if that's inviting them to this meeting for 15 minutes or requesting some kind of memo from them, we need to stay on top of that. <laughs> This is Davey, definitely noted and something we can try and follow up on. Um, all right, I think that concludes our executive report. Let's go ahead and move on to accessibility. And I think Diane, you were gonna give a update on that. So we already had a pretty thorough walk and roll. I, I think the main thing, um, that I wanted to say about that was that that was such a good example of how we can work together with our committees. Like the communication committee really jumped in and pushed the information out in such a creative and helpful way that we on the accessibility committee knew that it was going to be like people would know about it. So, so thank you for doing that. I think altogether it was really a nice example of us working together. Um, the next things are that David Riggs and Jessica Aideen, who both work at the city, are going to be meeting with us on the Accessibility Committee. David works in the Code Enforcement Office. We've talked about him before. Um, and our goal is to have some communication coming both from the Commission and the Code Office when there are new construction and renovation projects. And with Jessica, we just want to stay um, sort of abreast of what are the new city projects that are coming along and help her know about issues that we're finding. So, so they have been two key people that have been really helpful working with our committee. And our next meeting is May 13th at noon. And anyone is welcome to come. That's all I had. <laughs> Uh, this is Davey, and yeah, as, as uh, the chair, co-chair of that um, committee and also the chair of the commission, I just, again, really thank, you know, everyone who is involved. Uh, Rob, special shout out to Rob Delac and Tiffany Beals um, and Noah Trembley and uh, Claire Geisigam and uh, Aaron Smedley and Carolyn Lewis, all, all of whom are really involved in and making this work. Um, so th thanks to everyone for, for working together on that. It was successful because we all we all participated and anyone that I missed as well, I always miss someone. Um, let's go ahead and bounce down. A any other questions or comments about accessibility committee? All right, let's uh, move down into communications. I think Claire's taking the lead on this tonight. Yes, I, I just I just remembered that um, that Arian uh, was unable to make it. So I do, I do have the, uh, the minutes pulled up where we discussed um, the Center for Independent Living press release. And Davy, I know that you had brought that to our attention um, a couple months ago. And we've actually developed and finalized a form um, that I'm going to be sending out to the entire commission that if you just fill out all of the information that's um, required on the form, um, then we're going to be able to, um, to piece projects together for you, whether it's a press release, social media information, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, an article, any, anything. Uh, <laughs> so that should be um, in everyone's inbox uh, later this evening. And um, we also have a feature ready, I believe, for Lisa Simpson as the newest member of the commission. So that will be posted um, sometime next week. And I know that we are also looking at the next Athens ability column for the month of May. And we decided to cover the the vaccine and the importance of getting vaccinated 
And so our suggestion was to ask Davey if um, you would be interested in penning that column. Um, so yeah, it looks like that's a go, which is, which is great. And just a reminder that if anyone has any ideas for topics or, you know, you're, you're looking ahead and you'd like to pen a, an editorial or a letter to the editor for, for a month, um, just email us and let us know. Um, and we did discuss the rollout, uh, the communications plan for the walk and roll. And it was, it, the press coverage was phenomenal. And I think that is definitely thanks to Dr. Lewis. Um, just the, uh, the coverage that we were able to get on WAUB and to get really in depth. I mean, that was, uh, that was super exciting. And I think provided much more context, um, to, uh, our mission and what we're trying to accomplish. So um, that was really exciting to see. And I think, oh, the last thing that I have is um, if you have anything that you want shared to our social media page, um, you can either fill out the form if you want something, you know, specific developed, or if it's just an article, you can send it to anyone on the communications committee. Um, we are trying to get back into the swing of things on um, posting more regularly. That was something that I had like cemented. And then the first of the year happened and it's like, I have to, mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to get my bearings again. <laughs> so even though it's, um, we're at the end of April. So, um, I'm going to be more consistent on, on that. And, um, like I said, we're, we're always open to sharing um, whatever someone has on their minds or is uh, wanting to kind of put a platform to. So that's all I have. Uh, I think I saw a question from Cheryl. Hi, this is Cheryl. I'm wondering about the forum. So I remember before there was a discussion and maybe I, I, I did muse, I did miss a few meetings. So uh, do, would you mind expanding on the form a little bit? Oh, sure. The social media or the social form? Like what is? Well, the form is um, basically just a document that you can fill out if you want the communications committee to put out any communications regarding the work of your committee or the commission at, at, at large. Um, so if you want a press release that um, covers a, an event like the walk and roll um, or a concerning topic, um, you know, that's something that we would be able to do. Um, we have we have it kind of sectioned off where, you know, it's like what's your audience? Is it the general public? Um, do you want to speak specifically to community partners, to city government? Um, and yeah, it's, we tried to be as detailed as possible. Um, but I, once I send it out, um, if anyone has any questions or any feedback, um, just feel free to let me know. Uh, this, Carolyn, and as sorry, you know, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't uh, what, what you meant by uh, the form. So I do under, I understand now. So it's like okay. a survey and understanding ideas and things like that of what to post. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, this is Carolyn, and anything that you need to send out, we've got an address for it, or either uh, Patty in the mayor's office can help us distribute anything we need. The other thing, Claire, we probably, we, I don't know if we talked about this, about, should probably give us two weeks lead time to oh. write it and to get it out and all of that. So at least give us two weeks when you know you have an event. Yes, that's a, that's a good point. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, two weeks is good. And this is Davey uh, with the walk and roll. We definitely, I don't think did that. I think it was more like a week and a half or a week because we decided a month before, Hey, let's do this. Um, <laughs> yes. So I think that's one thing we'll keep in mind is to start the process maybe in December, if we're going to do an April event to really make sure it get, you know, everyone knows about it. I do want to note though, I, I personally felt like, we had good time, but I think, and this is how, this is, I, I just work better with um, someone saying, Hey, I need this, this, and this. And that's exactly um, what you guys had requested. So I think the form is really going to help, you know, with continue that process. So I did just, I just did just want to mention that I didn't feel pressed for time, um, but <laughs> yeah, just wanted to put that out there. This is JW. I, uh, I think it's a great idea. And I would suggest, Claire, that you uh, send it to the chairs of the committees 
uh, instead of everybody uh, at first. Um, and I, I, I'd like to see the chair sort of spearhead ideas, you know, input input from the committee members. But that's what I think we ought to go out to the leaders first so they can then uh, send it on down to the rest of us committee members. <laughs> Does it, does anyone else have any thoughts on that? Because I'm I'm happy to do you know whatever whatever everyone's comfortable with. This is Carolyn. I think that's a good idea because if you get a suggest if if a committee's working on something and you get two or three different forms from the same people, you'll be confused. So I think that's a good idea. It can come from the head of the committee, and then that person can disseminate it to get ideas from that, those committee members. Sure, that makes sense. Okay. Um, I was, I was also just going to say that maybe you might want to to do that to avoid overwhelm and having so many different forms, you know, and different ideas and things like that. Maybe it would be better and to have more coordination. So yeah, I totally agree with you, Dr. Lewis. I think that's great. Okay. Yeah. All right, yes, thank you very much. I'll be sure to do that. For Trembley, is the form online or just for a document? Hmm. It is a document, um, but I, I had some thoughts on either making it into a PDF, like a responsive PDF, or a Google Doc uh, that could be like a survey that's filled out. Um, that's what we do at HapCap. It's, it's basically just a form that you fill out, the answers go into a spreadsheet, and then we can look at it that way. But I'm not sure um, if there's any type of um, setup that would work better. This is Davey. If there's anyone who has uh, ideas to make it as accessible of a document as possible, uh, maybe you could shoot that over to Claire, whether that be like a certain type of form. I know Word is generally pretty accessible to use, uh, but sometimes Google Forms are even more accessible. So it just yeah. depends. Yeah, this is JW. That's a good point. Um, most screen readers, if not all, do not do well with, with PDFs. Okay. Um, uh, better with Google Docs and excellent with Word. So you might want to have all three available if necessary, Claire. Yeah, I was actually thinking that um, just, you know, just to have on hand. And that way, you know, if anyone says, hey, this actually works better for me, then, you know, we have that readily available. So I'm, I'm going to be um, timekeeper time Dave, Dave right now and say it's time to move into education. <laughs> Uh, the, the next meeting for communications is May 13th at 5.30. Is that correct? I think that's what, that was, that's what was in the minutes, so it must be correct. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to education and outreach. Okay. I just have two, uh, three items, actually. The, um, we're reviewing the goals every time we meet. The main one that we have right now is the design. I'll talk about that one. And the other one is the um, uh, oral history. And Claire and I need to get together very, uh, Claire Berry thinks that maybe Mayor Abel should be the next one. And then Lisa, you've been on the commission, you were there sort of in the beginning, and so was Scott Dennis. So Claire was thinking that maybe you two might have some early history as well. Okay. Uh, the other thing is we thought we want a pretty good path to our designer. And uh, we've hit a few snacks, so uh, we're going to uh, work a little bit more and maybe have a plan B. And so I have more reports next month, but we'll be in good shape. We have to get back with the committee and get some more ideas. And Barry is the point person and, um, and working with the designer, and I think she's doing a great job in trying to refine what, what it is we want. So we'll just need to uh, work with him more closely or go to a plan B. I'll let you know what we come up with. Our next meeting is May 11th at uh, 5 p.m. JW, you have any other thoughts on that? No, I think you, cap you captured it well. I think okay. that's, uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, thank you. Car Carolyn, I didn't, for the minutes, this is Diane, I didn't quite understand what you meant by getting a plan B for what? Uh, for, the, uh, for the design. Uh, we're working with the designer and we well, will the Athena get, Award. Get the design, week, future, the Athena Award, the Athena Award too. And so we'll know about the end of uh, this next week, 
uh, where we are with this, and we'll keep everyone posted. Right. Okay. Anything else from education and outreach? No, that's it for now. Thank you. Okay. You moved through really quickly. Uh, let's go ahead and move down to advocacy. Um, I know Sly wasn't able to make it kind of last minute. He's uh, traveling. Traveling, right. But uh, I'll do that. Uh, Lisa and I will do it. Uh, this is JW. Um, we uh, had our meeting and the bulk of it was spent with a guest. Lisa, can you talk a little bit more about the excellent presentation that we had? And then I'll talk about our next presenter for next month. Okay. Autumn Brown from Integrate Athens, which is uh, through the <clears throat> County Board of Developmental Disabilities, was our guest speaker. And she just talked about all the different things that they are involved in. And it was it was pretty amazing. I mean, they, uh, they're involved in community collaboration, education, community partners, uh, provider supports, school age transition, and the list just goes on and on. It was just uh, it was good for me to hear it because I've known Autumn for a long time and they're doing a lot of things that I wasn't aware of. Um, uh, let's see. She also talked about ableism uh, and how that has affected uh, Athens citizens with disabilities. Um, yeah, while well, Lisa's doing I had no idea how much they, I mean, we gave her 30 minutes and she could have clearly uh, gone for an hour just talking about what they do, which is fascinating. It is. It's they just they're collaborating with so many different community partners. And it was it was a uh, it was it was wonderful just to hear what they're doing and know uh, know that they will be a contact and a connection that we can um, talk to and collaborate with. <laughs> yeah, and a great, re I, I was suspecting just about any aspect of what we're trying to get done, even though their audience may be different, they could be very resourceful for us. Let's keep all of them in mind. They can. We, uh, our next meeting will be on the 4th, and I've been trying to get a person that I've been serving on the governor's disability, uh, the Ood Council with, her name is Allison McKay. I would highly encourage you to tune in if you can on the 4th, uh, and you should ask Scott to send you an invitation. She's going to be really great. She works for, um, she's a lawyer up there for um, Disability Rights Ohio. And I think she will give us a great foundation in terms of advocacy and what she does specifically for the disability rights community. Uh, it's just a very, um, just a very articulate and informative person. I suspect that 30 minutes won't be enough for her, but I'm going to push her to let us have some questions and answers. I've asked her to sort of talk about who she is, what she does, and how her organization can be helpful in terms of advocacy for the work we're doing. I think you'll find her quite fascinating. Um, if you can't make it uh, and you see the minutes, uh, her uh, email is pretty simple. It's a it's a McKay at disabilityrightsohio.org. And she will take up the bulk of our next meeting as well. This, I think we've covered this, it all. This is Carolyn. JW, if you could send either me or Claire, probably me her title. You know, when we do the notice for the meeting, the paper, we'll make sure that she's right. there and her title and what she's going to talk about. I'll get that. I've sent her email and stuff to Scott and to Patty for the agenda, but I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I don't know if she has a title, but I will, I will copy her and I'll copy you and Claire and her and say, Hey, do you have a title or something you want us to use in terms of promo stuff? Okay. Yeah, this, this is Davey. I'm really excited to hear, hear that information and, and just about the advocacy committee in, in general, all the work that you're doing, because I think it'll turn into our, our commission being able to to really like push for certain legislation, to push yes. for certain inclusion efforts. Um, so yeah, I'm just really really excited to to hear what comes out of that meeting, and I may try and join if I'm able to. I don't think I'm typically able to during those nights, but I will see. But you're welcome if you can. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
definitely. Any other questions or comments about advocacy? Oh, I just wanted to thank the uh, communication, this is JW, communication committee for highlighting Lisa and uh, giving us two for one in that regard. So that was a on. beautiful job. Yeah. Carolyn, thank you, Dr. Lewis. This is, this is Davey. As a point of clarification, uh, would you like, I guess what I can do in terms of uh, encouraging people to get vaccinated is send it to communications committee, and then you can let me know how you would like it edited and uh, rewritten to make it sound better, because sometimes I'm, I'm an okay writer, but there's better better writers on the commission than me, so... Yeah, that sounds great. And I think I, for, I forgot to, um, to mention that we usually like to publish these the first weekend, uh, the first week of the month. Um, so if you could, I don't know how to work the calendar on my computer, but um, I'll touch base via email on like a potential due date. Um, Sydney's pretty flexible. So we could work that out. Okay, great. I'll try and get it done this week. I'll be on vacation next. This is Carol and Dave. I just have a comment that is, is quite interesting about how we operate with the Communications Commission Committee. If I write something, I never let it go out without Diane's eyes or Claire's eyes. We're, we're going back and forth all the time. And if uh, Diane writes something, she doesn't let it go without my eyes. Or Claire. I mean, we're going, we're editing all the time. So just know that whatever you write, when you get it in there, we're going to wordsmith it to death. I to like make that. sure that it's right. So I can't take all the credit. Diane sees a lot of things that I don't. And then I say some things that she doesn't say for Claire. So in and, and Arian too. So we're just working through it. And Rose is good with that. She's a great proofreader. So we're all a team and trying to just get the best product out that we can for the commission. Absolutely. This is Davey. Yeah, thanks for thanks for doing that. I, I always really appreciate that as it as it goes through. Um and then if there aren't any questions or comments, do we have any announcements? I want to always um, acknowledge the intersectionality between uh, disability, disability community, and the broader community as well. So if you have any um, announcements about broader social justice, um, let us know as well. Uh, this is JW. I should have, I don't think, I can't remember whether I sent it to Diane or not. I just sent stuff to her and say, send it out. And she probably was like, good God, I'm retired, man. But <laughs> I think there's an anti-racism uh, 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 meeting of the arts tonight sponsored by Stewart's Opera House. And I think it starts at 6.30. Um, I don't know if I sent that to you or not, Diane, but I know I sent it to Dr. Lewis. So if you're interested in that, Email me right quick, and I get off here. I can forward you the how you join it. It'll be from six thirty, I think, to eight or six thirty to eight thirty. And it's basically going to be based on the a Black Summit sort of format, but focusing on the arts and how we can become more inclusive there. And one more thing, I uh, sort of related. I um, submit. I submitted my uh, keynote address to the Vital Speeches of the Day publication. So it's in the second round of uh, assessment. So keep uh, keep your fingers crossed. That'd be nice to get that out. And if you're interested in a, in a print copy of that, let me know and I'll email it to you if I haven't already. Diana, whatever. I don't know what I've sent you, but if I haven't, I will. <laughs> this is Carolyn. Is that your Black Summit keynote? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, great. It was great, great speech. Great presentation. J JW? Um, actually, I'm oh, sorry. Say it again, Diane. Okay, oh, it's my turn. Cheryl. Cheryl. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Cheryl, Cheryl, you sorry. go. Let's go with Cheryl first. Yes. Okay, sorry, if you don't mind. JW, would you mind sharing that link with me? Which one? For the uh, keynote address or the link tonight? Yeah, tonight. Okay, I will. When yeah, I get off here, I will. I will do that. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, good. What? Uh, give me. What's your email again, Cheryl? What's your email again? Can you just put it in the chat? Put the link in the chat. Oh, not very good. 
I will I will go ahead and send a connecting email. Okay, uh, okay, that's fine. Both of you, so that way you can just send it that way. Okay, cool. All right, good, good. Sorry for the late notice. I just uh, I had one thing. Go ahead, Diane. So JW, I this is Diane. I just wanted to let you know my OU account had a lot of problems. And that's okay. where you usually forward things uh, to me. Uh, okay. So if you send them to my Gmail account, I'm more likely to see it. Is that Diane Bouvier or just Bouvier? How's, how's that? Diane.Bouvier3. Okay, gotcha. G at, at okay, gotcha. I will start doing that. Very good. Okay, okay. thanks. Good call. Gotcha. And then I see uh, Lisa has a comment as well. I just have an event to share. <laughs> oh, go ahead. The uh, Pup People First golf course, which employs people with disabilities, <laughs> will be opening on uh, May 15th. So please spread that around. They like the business. And there will be volunteer maintenance on the golf course if anybody is, enjoys hard work. <laughs> um, right. Saturday the 1st and Saturday the 8th May of May. This is Davey. What what a great socially distanced uh, outdoor event that you can do. That's not right. intensive. Mm -hmm. It's not the most accessible golf course. I can't. I can. I can do a couple of the holes, but uh, otherwise, what a what a great great thing to to be able to get out and do do some putt putt course. And this is located uh, on the ridges. Yes. Um, if you drive past that big park on Richland Avenue, it is uh, right by the pavilion shelter house kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, this is Davey. Are there any other announcements before we have a motion to close out the meeting? Okay, I uh, just really thank everyone again. I think we, we really see how we're all working together and how everyone has, has a part to play. This is the kind of thing that I think as a commission we've always hoped for and been working for. And I think every everyone has is just doing awesome. So thanks for all the hard work that you're putting in and uh, really glad to have you back now, Cheryl. And um, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. I see, uh, yeah. I see Cheryl. 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 Okay. Uh, all in favor?